Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 16-year-old female. She plays softball. She's a pitcher. She has a traveling team and uh, also um, plays in high school, and now she's having shoulder pain. Almost a year-long pain. It's getting worse, and so we did an MRI arthrogram here. You can see fluid in the joint. If we go towards the top here, it looks like the rotator cuff looks good. If we go towards the back, things look good, except for on this slice. Something does not look normal back here along the back of the glenoid, so we're going to look at that. And then here, the superior labrum, inferior labrum look good. If we go anteriorly, things look pretty good. Here's a biceps labral anchor looking pretty good going over there. So we're going to go look at this abnormal signal here in the back. We'll put up an axial image. And on this axial image, we can see that there is a problem back here. There's a tear of that posterior labrum. And the anterior labrum looks good. There's a little congenital defect here in the central part of the glenoid, no clinical significance, but this is the finding. So a tear of that labrum goes all the way, all the way from the very top all the way down to the bottom. So this is a uh, tear. So the question is, well, how do you describe these? You can say there's a tear of the posterior labrum, um, but it would be better to give some more descriptive terms. I talked to one orthopedic surgeon, and he'd like to know if things were complex or just simple. He'd like to know that so when he gets in there, he knows what he's up against, and it needs to tell the patient um, uh, how it's going to go, and if it's complex, he knows he's going to have to remove more tissues, and it may take longer. So uh, one thing to mention is it uh, just a small superficial tear, or is it a more extensive, more complex tear? So I like to give the uh, dimensions. In this case, when I'd say it goes, uh, it's a tear of the posterior labrum that goes from superior to inferior, and it's a length of 2.6 centimeters in vertical dimension. And then beyond the complexity, another thing they like to know is, is it detached? You know, is it uh, free, free floating, uh, or and or is it displaced? Are there any displaced label tissues floating around in there? And they're going to need to go try to find. And so those are really important. So complex, and say yes, this is like a complex tear. Is it detached? Well, if you look here, you can see this fluid going all the way from the articular surface back. It looks like there's a little detached fragment there, and even here, it looks like the torn labral fragment here is really not attached back here. It's just hanging on by this posterior um, capsule. It looks like it is detached. So I'd say this is a complex tear that is detached, but there's no labral displacement. There's no displaced labral fragment. And that's it. Thank you very much.